<clears throat> I work in a reasonably pressured environment. We analyse our games. In our games, our, my team will do 1,400 tasks a game. Over a season, that's 1,400 tasks times 16 games times 15 teams. Last season, the top team, skill-wise, did 86% of those tasks good. What did the bottom team do, do you think? So the answer was 83%. What do I do as a coach? I try to find 3%. I'm searching for 3% in my industry. And I'm pretty sure that in a lot of your industries, the margin of error is pretty small too, between success and failure. So what I'm looking for is how can I get this group of people to find that little extra to get something out of it. If you aim for something and you strive, and most importantly, if it, it has to be something you really want to do. Mm -hmm. If it's something you really want to do, you can, you can achieve it. And, um, but always I, I had this powertrain principle that in the, the, the front of the train that drives it, that's your vision, your goal. The first carriage is your thoughts, mm -hmm. then the next carriage is your words, then your actions, and at the back of everything is your, is your baggage, your consequences. I wanted to be the fastest and the strongest and the best at what I did. When my father was young, he was a prominent sports figure in South Africa, at selling at athletics and rugby, and representing South Africa and playing for the Bulls. And I had the blessing of inheriting these genes, yet talent is never enough, as you might know. My father had taught me that the seeds of discipline and sacrifice needed to be sown for the harvest of success to come in. You need to do the hard work. You need to make a sacrifice if you want to be successful. I was in the gym every morning at 5 a.m. and playing rugby after school. And then we had choir in the evenings because I enjoyed music and grew up with it. And still, then there would need to be time for academics. My rugby career started to soar. And I was chosen to play for the Springboks in 2006. Success is not the blaze of sudden glory one. Okay, it is the effort of adding up of strong work done. It doesn't happen overnight. It's something you gotta keep on doing and you gotta keep on keeping on.